have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year. And the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. So all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. What are you getting your wife for Christmas this year? I don't celebrate Christmas. Why not? Because it's against my religious beliefs. Are you Jewish? No. Are you a Muslim? No. Jehovah's Witness? No. Atheist? No. Are you a member of the Church of Satan? No. Well then what religion are you? I'm a Christian. I'm a member of a historic Sovereign Grace Baptist Church. So you don't believe in the birth of Christ then? Of course I do. I'm a Christian, remember? Why don't you celebrate the birth of Christ then? What does the birth of Christ have to do with celebrating Christmas? Christmas is the celebration of the birth of Christ. Really? Where does it say in the Bible that Jesus was born on December 25th? It doesn't. When does the Bible say Jesus was born? The Bible does not say, but all the evidence in the Bible points to a September birth of Christ. So why would you celebrate his birth on December 25th if he was born in September? I don't know. I guess because that's the way the world does it. Why do they celebrate it on December 25th? Because the Catholic Church renamed a pagan sun-worshipping holiday that was already celebrated on December 25th. The Catholic Encyclopedia says, the well-known solar feast of Natalis Solis and Victi Nativity of the Unconquered Sun celebrated on 25th of December, has a strong claim on the responsibility for our December date. The World Book Encyclopedia says, in AD 354, Pope Siberius of Rome ordered the people to celebrate on December 25th. He probably chose this date because the people of Rome already observed it as the Feast of Saturn, celebrating the birthday of the Sun. Christians honored Christ, instead of Saturn, as the light of the world. People celebrate Christmas on December 25th because it was a pagan sun-worshipping holiday that the Catholic Church incorporated into Catholicism and changed its name to Christmas in order to convert the pagans to Catholicism? Yes, that's right. Do you now understand why I don't celebrate this Christianized pagan holiday? No. What's wrong with transforming a pagan sun-worshipping holiday into a celebration of the birth of Christ and then incorporating it into God's religion? The problem with it is that God hates it and forbids such practices in the Bible. Where does the Bible say that? Just before Israel entered the land of Canaan, God warned them to not look at the way those pagan nations worshipped their gods and worship God likewise. God said in Deuteronomy 12 29 through 32, when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord by God. For every abomination to the Lord, which he hateth, have they done unto their gods for even their sons and their daughters they have burned in the fire to their gods. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. This is exactly what the Catholic Church did when they looked at how the pagans worshipped their gods and decided to worship God likewise with merry making, gift giving, bringing green trees, holly, mistletoe, and yule logs into their homes, and taking time off of work. God says don't do that. 
But those things are fun and harmless, right? God doesn't think so. God says that pagan worship like the holidays of Saturnalia and Natal as Solis and Victi are devil worship. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 20 through 21. But I say, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord, and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table, and of the table of devils. To celebrate Saturnalia is to have fellowship with devils. To celebrate Christmas which is Saturnalia under a different name is to have fellowship with devils. Surely God would not care if I put a Christmas tree in my house, would he? Yes, he does. The Bible says in Jeremiah 10 2-4. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman, with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Bringing trees into one's house and decorating them with silver and gold can you say tinsel is what the heathen do? God says don't do that. But most Christians celebrate Christmas, so that must mean God is okay with it, right? Where in the Bible does it command us to celebrate Christmas? It doesn't. Where in the Bible does it even command us to celebrate the birth of Christ? It doesn't. Where in the Bible does it record the apostles and early Christians celebrating Christmas or the birth of Christ? Nowhere. Did you know that historically Christians did not celebrate Christmas up until a couple of hundred years ago because it was a Catholic pagan holiday? No. Did you know that a law was passed making it illegal to celebrate Christmas in the colony of Massachusetts in 1659? No. I will have to Google that. So, you admit that Christmas is a pagan holiday which the Catholic Church changed the name of and incorporated into Catholicism? And you now understand that God forbids such things? Yes. So, you admit that God nowhere in the Bible commands us to celebrate Christmas? Yes. And you admit that none of the apostles or early Christians celebrated Christmas in the Bible? Yes. And you understand that Christmas wasn't celebrated by Christians throughout most of history because they knew it was a Catholic pagan holiday? Yes. So now do you understand why I don't celebrate Christmas? Yes. Thank you for converting me from the error of my pagan ways. You're welcome. At least I can still look forward to celebrating Easter. I'm afraid not because it's a pagan fertility festival. Are you kidding me? No, but that's another video for another time. Y'all, it all started with a snake in a tree. A snake in a tree. A snake in a tree. Nimrod is the Babylonian sun god married to Ishtar. His wife and mother had their son Tammuz on December 25th. Because they're fertility gods, the tree is a symbolism of their fertility and it's a mocking of Yeshua. It's a lot to process and there's so much more to the story. Please do your research. Ready, Logan? Ready. Repeat. Play God Buddy. Can we do this? Yay! One, two, three, play God Buddy! Play God Buddy! We got a lot of good luck to get that Christmas magic going. Let's try again. One,
Look at everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi.